ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Rise of Kingdoms gameplay from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today we find ourselves once again in KVK, but I have something exciting for you. It is de numero dos of KVK, and we have gotten a lovely new event called the Trial of Cow. Uh, and this is Cow Karuak, or I don't know how other people pronounce it. That's how I pronounce it. And this event, as you can see, is a 48 day long event. So it's going to last the duration of KVK. And it's got some pretty sweet rewards. Uh, if you're in KVK right now, you're definitely going to want to do this. You can get lots of crystal. This is a really, really effective way for low spenders to get some more crystal, even free to play to get some more crystal for, for not too much effort. Um, I will caution you, this does cost AP. And so it is a trade-off, Barbs versus Cow Kowarak, but it is my job to let you know that this is worth it. Uh, so you definitely should be investing the time and effort into it. And it's a little bit different than normal Kowarak. So we can walk through the... Uh, the instructions here you can choose your difficulty level you can't really um if it's your first time doing the cow cow rack event you're gonna do easy which believe it or not is actually pretty difficult uh i'm a little concerned what the higher levels are going to be but difficulty levels will be unlocked as as lost kingdom chronicles are unlocked so presumably you'll be able to do this event numerous times which is pretty nice uh, but you do have to complete all the trials at that level so if you're a low spender and you can't complete easy, well, you're not going to get to normal, which means that you're probably not going to get as much crystal as someone who's a whale who's going to max tech. So you see the cycle kind of continuing. I don't know if you guys watched my previous video. I'll link that up right up top right of the screen now. Um, this event is kind of a, a devil in disguise because at first, it's great. If you're a low spender, maybe you could get to 30. I'll show you guys just me trying at level 11 um it's not easy but if you are a whale and you can get past the first round then you get to normal i i don't know it seems like another way for spenders and and whales to get more crystal although lilith isn't even charging them this time and if you have seven marches it might be easier i'm just i'm just saying i'm just saying um the other thing that's nice is you do get season coins for this. Uh, so season coins are the ones that you can use in the shop. Uh, you can buy gold heads, you can buy city skins, etc. So this is nice. Um, you can only take the trial of Cow Kowruak alone, which is, you know, kind of standard. Uh, and the target of each trial will only be shown on the map for a limited time. You must complete the trial before it disappears or you will fail the trial. This is the biggest catch here. So... Unlike your normal Karuak where you can send out five marches and rotate them in and out and time doesn't really matter, it matters here. Uh, you'll only have maybe a minute and a half, two minutes to beat each cow Karuak. And so that may mean that you want to be using multiple marches, a mix of nukers and debuffers because you want to be killing this march quickly. Uh, so troop expansions might help. There are a number of things you can do, but be wary of this the time is a challenge i just did level 10 and it's it's not easy uh here's the next one when the trials target enters battle mode it will activate the challenge's time limit so the advantage of this is that you should not be sending all five marches straight from your city so you should send them out camp them move them around cow Kowarak, and then attack him uh, it will also show you what different buffs cow Kowarak has every time you go for the attack. And so sometimes he'll deal extra skill damage, sometimes he'll be tankier, etc. And so we'll get into that. I'll show you guys it in the next one. Um, but every time you complete a trial, the reward will be sent to you by mail, which is nice. So shall we? As you can see here, I get crystals, which is nice. We'll do level 11. And so this one, we have two bosses, and here are their skills. Deals direct damage to a single target and reduces their defense by 30% 30 30 for 3 seconds. That's pretty painful. And for every 15 seconds in battle, heals 10% of the troops led by this commander. Whereas this one just deals damage factor. So you do need to use some strategy here. If you haven't watched my Arms Master Lohar video, just some things to keep in mind. Um, 
you are going to be want to be tactical here and you're going to want to use all five of your marches if you can you're going to want to grab a rune you're going to want to pop a buff uh because it's going to help you out well shappy my marches suck i'm t4 whatever what can i do here's what you can do so lilith has been so gracious and has given us a new tech called Karuak Reports, um, or Karaku Reports, my bad. Uh, so you can spend crystals on this and increase the damage dealt to our, all Karaku warriors during the trial of Kao Karuak. I think that's pretty helpful. Um, I'll probably invest in it at least a little bit because I want to get all the way up to level 30, which I believe is the top level. Um, and I, I would advise other people to as well. Uh, let's take a look. What does it show me what I get in crystal? No, it doesn't, but I can get there. Give me just a sec. Okay, let's see. How much is it gonna give me in crystal? This will speed through, and then I can show you guys exactly how much I'm gonna get simply from researching the tech, because or not crystal, uh, uh season coins. Because that's what everyone really wants to know. Let's wait for those helps to roll in. and Karaku reports. So you're really not getting very much, but the cost is pretty low. So I'm gonna use some of these and invest in the tech as I would advise you to as well. Um, and if I were you, I would do it beforehand if you can. And the reason I say that is you're gonna wanna save your AP. And if you've invested in Karaku reports, it might take you fewer than five marches to beat them. And that's the name of the game, right? Is is using as little AP as possible. Oh, great, have to get that to level three, and I have a sneaking suspicion it's gonna make me get all these up, but let's see. Let's wait on some helps. So let's figure out what marches I should run. I'm not sure if peacekeeping buffs work against these guys, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I am going to make myself have a tanky march, so let's see. What do you guys think? Richard Martell, that seems to be a safe bet. No, my Richard isn't maxed. I know. Don't lay into me. And, okay, let's swap it over. Yeah, Zeno, you're not going to be helpful in this event, unfortunately. And so, you may want to have a tanky march here, uh, just because you don't want your nukers to die too quickly. That said, you do want to watch out, because as I showed you earlier, some of them do have an AoE attack. Uh, so just, just be cognizant of that. Uh, it, it's it's a little bit of a challenge, but I kind of like it. I think it, it adds a nice level of difficulty. I think it gives you something to do during KVK that's not clearing fog, um, which I'm sure everyone is just so thrilled and excited about clearing fog. <laughs> Are you not? I am. Have you guys seen my video on clearing fog? Uh, if you haven't, you should check it out. But... Um, yeah, I, I think it's it's nice. So we're gonna invest in that tech a little bit. I'll show you guys how it goes. We're gonna wait for some helps. Oh wow. So did I'm uh did I just lose AP? Yeah. So here's another catch for you guys. If you don't uh, battle them, then you can resummon them. It doesn't count as a loss, but you do have to spend the extra hundred AP to uh, to resummon them. So don't summon them until you're ready. There's a very short timer on the field. Uh, so just, just watch out for that. The other thing you're going to want to do is you'll probably want to be on Alliance Territory so you can get those Alliance Territory buffs. I'm not, but I'll probably TP onto it pretty much right now um, because I realized I'm not on Alliance Territory. So let's do that. And obviously this will become easier as you get further along in KVK. So if you are a low spender and you're like, Shappy, I am just, I am just dying right now. I can't get through it. Um, I will say just like, be patient. You will be getting structures that'll help you and you can get through it. I know it. So we're going to teleport on territory and we're going to pray that when I do summon him, he shows up on that so I can be getting these territory buffs. But you do want to be very attentive to what you're doing and make sure that you really are, are, are getting the best bang for your buck because the these do get difficult uh i was i was really really surprised at how hard it was for me and i'm running full t5 marches um but i was really surprised at how uh how difficult it was so let's finish this tech up come on i don't want to be wasteful okay so let's 
as I was saying, I'll even pop a boost for you just to show you guys. Why not? So let's get our Richard out. Okay, let's do Richard Martell. Boom. And boom. Okay. Sweet. Let's do... I'll do Guan Alex. Because why not? I'll do... What else do we got? Gilga Nebu. Although if you have YSG maxed, uh, Nebu YSG is probably going to be better. Gilga is not as great for this. Uh, Salad and Cow. Because I like them. And my debuff is going to be... Let's do Ethelfled and uh, maybe Belisarius. Yeah, let's do that. Sweet. And I should actually have her running mixed. We'll do that. Just to show you guys that this can be easy or it can be very difficult depending upon how prepared you are. Uh, if you think you're going to steamroll through this with one march, uh, I'm sorry, but that's not how it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. You're in for a surprise if you try to do that. Um, it, it's not it's not ideal. Okay. So I think our tech should be done now. Yep, let's claim it. And cool. So we're stuck. So we're going to do it. And I can show you guys just how hard it is. Or maybe those techs made a massive difference and it's not going to be hard at all. Okay. So let's get Richard out first. Okay, see, we're crowding around, getting ready. And Richard's gonna go first. And everyone else is going now. And I did not see if it actually charged me, but we'll see in a sec. But yeah, you really wanna move quick. And if I were you, I'd set up. Doesn't look like there's an AP charge to attack them, which is good. But as you can see, I have the little timer right here, a minute and five seconds. Uh, and and it, the time goes really quickly, y'all. So so use those five marches, get out there. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. If you do want to move quickly onto the next one, you can. Just click next, and it'll bring you over here. But be prepared. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think it's a neat event. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, and yeah, very cool. We're going to kill which one? Ooh, let's kill this one first. Okay, Shappy Squad, we'll do this last one. And then we'll call it a video. Something I would always keep in mind, go for the healers first. Uh, because they're going to attack your marches whether you like it or not, so they're going to be healing the other marches. Boom. It's gone. As you see, I got set up there. It is only that 100 AP just to summon them, which makes life just a little bit easier. And of course, I got the AoE on a barb, which is just always what you love to see. So, not too hard when you're running five marches expanded, but just keep that in mind. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I like this new event. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I respond to every comment. I commit to it. So if you guys do have something that you want to say or some thoughts or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Shappy out.